This is A Who All Gonna Be There podcast, a place where you get to be an exclusive member of our very entertaining group chat. What's up, everybody? We are back with another episode of A Who All Gonna Be There podcast. And as you can see, for our viewers um, and for our listeners, we have a very special guest with us, the wonderful and amazing Samara Joy from this new rebooted season on Netflix of The Mole. How are y'all doing? Hey, um, so if you don't know too much about me, I'll just give you like a few little details. i 25 years old. I live in Atlanta, Georgia, but I grew up in a small town in Maryland, Havity Grace. Nobody's going to know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I just graduated with my uh, degree in clinical psychology. So that's nice. what they wanted me on the show for. <laughs> okay. Nice. It's funny that you mentioned that because I actually graduate in December with my master's of clinical mental health counseling mm-hmm. and I'm going to get my LPC. So, yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. come on, right the <laughs> So, yeah. Awesome. Well, like I said, we are so glad to have you here to take, you know, took some of your time out of your day to chat with us. So I'll just jump right on in and ask. So tell us how you got involved with the mole. What led you to being cast with the mole? Um, honestly, I have no idea. So um, <laughs> one day, it was probably a month before we left. I just got a call, and usually I don't answer like numbers that I don't know, but for some reason I was like, listen, I know that's right. (laughs) They said straight to voicemail. Yep. (laughs) So I answered it and they were like, hi, um, we saw your name in a casting database and we know that you have a history with psychology. We're filming a TV show in Australia. We wanted to know if you'd be in it. And I was like, at first I thought it was just, you know, Mm -hmm. right. (laughs) (laughs) So as the process got further along, we had to do um, physicals, background Mm. checks, um, Mm. talk with the psychiatrist. And I was like, okay, this seems a little legit, Mm -hmm. but I feel like I'm signing my life away. (laughs) (laughs) And I was just telling my family, my family's like, Samara, like, do you know what you're really going there for? And I was like, honestly, at this point, I might get sex trafficked. But no, <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna hope that, Look, who knows? that it's really real. <laughs> right. Hope they tell her the truth. All right. Sorry. Okay. Awesome. And so, go ahead. You know, I'm curious. Um, what other um shows did you audition for for you to be in that casting category? Uh, or are you not allowed to say? So, <laughs> a couple of years, like I feel like once every year, I always submit like a um, profile for audio okay. one. Okay. That's the only one I can think okay. of that probably that's how they got that's it. That's how they found you. Yeah. Okay, that's, okay. that's interesting. Nice. Okay, so is something being like on reality TV, is that something that you've always wanted to do or is it like something that just kind of came up in the recent years? Um. Honestly, I've kind of felt like I've always had like the niche for it because I like to talk a lot. I'm really like, an outgoing personality. I watch so much reality TV. Oh yeah. Yeah. So much. So, I mean, growing up in a small town is kind of like, kind of have to not set your dreams too high. Mm -hmm. But I feel like once I moved to Atlanta and started getting more opportunities for like modeling and things like that, I was like, I could easily get on there. I I could do that. Hold on, look, while we on the subject, let's talk about this (laughs) modeling. Because I saw them little thirst traps we that you did. put on the timeline. That's a hold on. Listen, fire. Girl, the way you was giving body. Right. I, had body, to, body, body. I had to give you some, some class for that. Because I, 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 I don't know who started it first, but I feel like you started the trend. And I'm just going to give it to you and say you started it. Start and I was okay it. with it. Listen, <laughs> who you telling? So, it's crazy because I actually took those pictures in Australia when I oh, was really? at like my target rate weight. So when I got to Australia, we had to do two weeks of quarantine. So we oh, okay. had breakfast, lunch, and dinner being served to our doors. I was ordering Uber Eats every day. I gave them <laughs> no, twenty right. pounds, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Y'all gonna see these twenty pounds, <laughs> baby? We we saw all of them twenty pounds, baby, and they went to all the right places." <laughs> and then I <laughs> Hey, you still look good. Still yes. look good. <laughs> so with this show in mind, so, you know, one of the biggest questions I know you've gotten is, did you see the hair? Was it a hair tie to you? Uh, or not? 
Okay, y'all. To be honest, I did not see the key. We were <laughs> we were pretty far. We were pretty far. And then honestly, it sounds ridiculous. I don't know why I said a hair tie because why would a hair tie be in an abandoned prison? <laughs> Tamara, get it together. <laughs> so, Listen. <laughs> so I didn't see it. But to be fair, if you were to look at Kasi and Joy's key, the area mm -hmm. was just nice and pristine. It was clear. Yeah. Right. I had a whole bunch of paint chips. No, legit. We saw your face. You were like, it's a hair tie. <laughs> you were like, you tell me. I said, now I know the mole ain't over here already cooking. Cooking up. Please. I'll call you the mole right <laughs> after that episode. Because you guys thought I was the mole. Oh, for show. sure. I was like, all right, I'll take it. All right. But then when we saw Joy's segment, and she said she didn't see the key either. And we see her looking up like, so which one of them the mole? Because what's the one of them in the mole? Yeah. Yeah, they were pretty far. We were we were pretty far. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. But I probably so, wouldn't say that. Right. So, um, going into the mold, did you have a strategy set up that you were gonna like? Well, I'm gonna sabotage, or I'm just gonna play it cool. What was your plan going in? So my strategy was to go in and just meet people, create trusting relationships with them, because even in my like daily life and interactions with people, I always like to go deeper in mm -hmm. conversations. So I always like to figure out, okay, why do you feel that way? Why do you act like that? What happened in your past? You know, I go really deep in my conversations. All right. Feel it off, right. Right. But um, I just wanted everybody to trust me. And then I was like, that's not going to work. <laughs> that's not going to work because I know I'm not the mole. Mm -hmm. They don't know that. But I would like for them to not trust me and mm -hmm. think I'm the mole. So gotcha. I kind of went in. Honestly, if it was one of those shows I had watched back in the day, oh, I would have mm -hmm. went in there with the best strategy ever, but I had never <laughs> seen the ball. Never. Me neither. Me either. But, so we're in this together. So yes, it was no, yeah. Truly. And so I've been saying multiple times, like, getting to watch the mole, like, it was so refreshing just from those first five episodes. Mm -hmm. I was like, I love this show and like all of you guys were amazing and so just because we've coming off big, big big brother season 24 mm -hmm. and then we're in a slow survivor season and so we love reality tv too I so love our that podcast, this is quick. <laughs> yes it was mm -hmm. like you know it was here it was fast paced but it was like very entertaining and so mm -hmm. it was just so nice to like have this new perspective of reality tv because that's what we do here mm -hmm. you know so my question would be, because like we like to talk about, like I mentioned to you, you know, before, like we cover the experiences and the dynamics and portrayal of Black people and people of color in reality television, because oftentimes our voices aren't really heard after shows are aired or during, mm -hmm. you know, airing. Um, people don't really understand what we're experiencing. So could, do you feel like you were portrayed accurately um, or do you feel like anything was off or you were it was accurate? Um, I feel like for the most part, they did a really good job with portraying each one of us. You know, they didn't portray anybody as the angry, stereotypical mm -hmm. black person. Mm -hmm. Yes. They didn't portray Dom as this big, you know, guy who kind of was like a teddy bear. Yeah, I was like, he was actually lovable. <laughs> yeah. I remember one scene, we were standing at the prison and we're all like lined up. And I noticed, and keep in mind, this was not on purpose. I noticed that it's like all of us Color people on this side. Mm -hmm. I looked down the line. I said, That's what we do. We we just convene together unknowingly. I said, y'all, why all the black gotta split it here? up? <laughs> Listen. They were like, the next was like, yeah, Samara's right. Yeah, we're gonna have to like <laughs> mix this up. How they do that, but then when we got to the that terrible episode, uh, when you got, you know, when you actually got eliminated, all y'all were in the same group. Ended up okay. in the Okay, gotta explain that one. So it wasn't uh, put into the episode because thirty to forty minutes, you can only put so much. Yeah. So we actually had a whole bar scene, mm. and by that time, it's kind of like a lot of us were relating with one another. Like some of us was more a little bit, a little bit more quiet. So mm -hmm. they were like, they were like two cars. Everybody pick a car and go. So I'm like. All right. right. We got Will, <laughs> Dom, Cassie, like, let's, put, let's put all the like, you know. Cool Who's people right? in there. Cool people in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when we get inside, we're like, y'all, we messed up. 
we let all the brainiacs go on that side. Yep, yep, and yep. And all of us like jocks on this side. Yep. You're like, y'all, we messed up. Dang. <laughs> and then y'all had the mold too, so that didn't help. <laughs> who did you? Let me let me tell you. So on these quizzes, who who did you put that you think was the mole that initially sent you home? Like, who was your thought? Like, okay, this person is the mole. I believe for that last quiz, I went for Greg. Mm. Ooh, Greg. Okay. I feel like Greg would have been the perfect mole because we already suspect. I agree with lying. that. So it's we already think he's gonna lie, and manipulate mm -hmm. everything mm. else. And he's really witty, and he knows how to he like. Is kind of like toy with people's emotions a little bit right so i mean I, I and okay so everybody's like yeah on past seasons in the mole they do all these little like clues mm. and all this stuff so i'm like greg had on camo about three <laughs> times now like, she's like what's up with that why you got three three pairs of camo <laughs> like, what are we doing <laughs> Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. No, I feel that. Cause like that's that's me. I'm always suspicious. Cause like again, we love reality reality TV, specifically Big Brother. And so I'm always my mind is always turning. I'm always turning. And so I would have been looking at a lot of people specifically, like Greg was one of them. Him, he was one of my obvious choices. And um Joy was another obvious choice. Mm -hmm. um, but I was looking at Jacob and Casey. I said, cause y'all, something about y'all. <laughs> Jacob was another one because close from like um after the prison um he kind of made a comment and i was like ooh, mm, ooh what was that i so kept in america now <laughs> <laughs> and then um in the button mission so you guys didn't see it but when the groups like were face to face mm -hmm. we told everybody guys we are not saying a word do not tell them we pushed the button mm -hmm. we're just gonna sit here and wait for alex to come out I know that's results. right. Then Jacob ends up going, All right, guys, let's just tell them we pushed the button. Oh, oh my really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Oh um, my so goodness. It, there's so many moments where it's like you can't tell people are just being themselves if they're manipulating or if they're just trying to like look like they're the mole. Mm hmm. I'm curious, like in all these um events that y'all have to do these challenges. Uh, to me, like, was y did it seem like there were times when y'all were doing these challenges where it seemed like the time was longer than y'all was supposed to get? Because I was like, y'all really finishing with four seconds left a lot? <laughs> like, is y'all giving them extra time? Or, like, what's going on? Did it feel I, long? I was never short? one of those people, because some of us had were given watches to wear to track the time. Oh. So I, I was that. never aware of that um mm, okay i mean you kind of think like in the moment your heart's racing your adrenaline yeah. going so it's mm -hmm. kind of hard to tell if time is oh yeah adrenaline slowly. probably to go yeah yeah but um in that first mission with the jungle tell us about like, it tell us <laughs> the production's yelling at us like you guys have 10 minutes you guys have 10 minutes and i'm like yeah, I got y'all was looking lost. And they like, were we lost because I was lost for them. Very lost. And I, I, I'm telling you, I was cracking up when you were like, "Yep, we gave the pilot the um directions, and uh, we're lost." <laughs> as soon as they said we have a map, I said, "I'm not good with direction." Y'all got it, baby. I would have already checked out. Like I ain't. I'm not even lie. I can't help y'all right here. I was so, gonna fall to the back, be a fly on the wall, and then see how mm -hmm, everybody else mm -hmm. was. Because I knew I was gonna be able to get that map anyway. I'm with you. <laughs> so with that map, like on that like portion, did y'all not think to open the bag? Because apparently people are like, oh, y'all could have oh, opened up the bag. Alex was looking there with the clues. Did it not register? Like, oh yeah, Alex said we could open the bag. So technically, we weren't supposed to open the bag until we got to the location. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So okay. even if we would have opened the bag and saw that it was sand dunes, we still never came Got across it. any of that type of environment. So the bag wouldn't have helped us. Right. Did, in, did anybody suggest that we didn't see, like, hey, maybe we should open up the bag? Or did it just, like, go out y'all's mind, like, okay? Completely over every single one of our heads. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Did you get suspicious of Osei at all? Because he was just, when they asked, like, all right, we might as well just open the bag and see what was in there. He was no, like, no. No, no. I said, that, why, you, why you ain't gonna open the bag? He got real suspicious for me. 
I was suspecting Osei like before we finished the mission because <laughs> if you seen him walking around with the leaf, baby, I hollered. I said that would have been me. I'm sorry. I was looking at Osei in the shade. I'm in my confessionals like this man over here with a leaf over his head. Not looking, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like. That's too obvious. Yeah, yeah. Like, it can't be him. And it's funny that you, when you earlier, when you mentioned how like Greg had the extra camo, and so you were suspecting him, it cra- made me think of Osei's comment that he made when Greg pulled out the triangle. He was like, "Where you get a triangle from? See, yeah, he got all this extra stuff. He the mole. He the mole." <laughs> he said, and "Where you get a triangle from?" <laughs> it's crazy because so many things just. I think I second guess myself a lot mm-hmm. in while I was on the show. So for example, on the plane, there was a Colombian flag. Mm-hmm. And I'm, mm. I'm asking like, what country is that flag on? It's gotta be there for a reason. Yeah. Mm. We well, was on I, the right path. Yep, it was possibly. <laughs> and then another thing was in the button mission, when she first announced it, she said, it's in the table. I looked at everybody, I said, she said, it's in the table. Mm. It's in the table. Mm. And I was like, I'm so like, I like other people to lead mm-hmm. so I know how they move. Right. That me sitting back too much and not being as vocal as I should have kind yep. of my downfall. Right. So you felt like you, so you knew to like, we should have looked in the table. So that, that immediately came to your mind. Yeah. Dang, Samara, you could have made I it. Know, I, <sighs> I know. <laughs> Dang. So after you were eliminated, Tell us about your initial feelings about it. Like what was going through your mind and like what happened after that? Um, after I got eliminated, I was highly pissed off mm-hmm. because we go from this prison mission. I completed it. My group completed it. And then now I'm being sent back in prison to fall asleep, which you guys didn't see. To what? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Hold on. Explain, Explain that. About that because what? <laughs> okay, so they didn't fit it into the episode, but if you guys watch, you can see like after she says, "You guys are going to go to a luxury hotel." Mm-hmm. You can see e, Will and Ace trying to go back into the prison. Mm. So oh. the masterminds had a chance because they took money out the pod to give us clues, more time. Mm-hmm. They had an opportunity to send a group back in and get more money for the pod. Oh, yeah, we so didn't I'm see that. At, well, I'm so excited, and I don't get excited about much, so I'm mm-hmm. like, I finished my mission. I know I'm not going in there. Right. right. I look at Dom, and Dom's kind of like avoiding eye contact, and I'm like, no, Lord, I'm at the you garden already knew. <laughs> so I'm like livid, like livid. Right. And um, then somebody makes a comment, and they're like, well, you're just complaining, da-da-da. And Will's like, she's not complaining. She's just saying that we're not the group that should be in there because we didn't have to use money to get more time. It's exactly. Just the last group. Right. Yep. Y'all so, asked for help, not us. I'm telling you. Hmm. So, oh, so then this is another big part. Um, so we get in the prison. We're probably in there for about three hours. It's like 1, 2 a.m. at this point. Dang. <sighs> yes. And <clears throat> um. So we get a call on a phone that's somewhere in the prison. So I'm like, I'll just answer it, whatever. And they're like, oh, you guys, we decided to uh, bring you guys back. I'm Hmm. like, we were literally about to (laughs) Now you're about to spend money to bring us back because y'all knew y'all sent the wrong group in there. Yes, Hmm. 100%. So then I had to go transition into that environment where I'm mad. Right. and, And go into a bar scene. Cool. I got my heels on. And then I go into another mission. See? And I'm like, y'all let me wear heels knowing I was about to go. Into I think a you mission. mentioned that. I think right. you mentioned that. <laughs> like, what's going on? So um, then after the push the button, the two groups, there was a little conflict amongst mm-hmm. the groups. Um, one player came down and like put on this facade that they heard us cheering. They know we pushed the button first. And I'm like, y'all didn't hear us cheer. <laughs> Right. And then I'm like, between all of those times, I had no opportunity to grab any intel. Mm. Couldn't couldn't see or talk to anybody about 
their groups in the mission in the prison. Mm -hmm. Couldn't talk to anybody off camera about mm. anything on the bar scene. Couldn't get nothing. And then even though Kasi was in my group, I still went into the quiz so like uneducated basically because mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. know what happened in their group. Right. So I was like, Rob Queen is right. <laughs> I told you, yes, a robbed queen. Because it, it just, because like you said, it just felt like y'all were rushing there, no time to prepare. And these questions, they were just giving us snapshots. It's talking about who is the mole married? How many kids? Is they Did they give a kidney to their uncle two years ago? I'm like, I'm like Lord, I don't know. Not, not a kidney to your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, some questions. of the questions, it's like, why would I ask that person that question? Right. If it, I'm didn't make, it didn't make no that. sense. Some of them were kind of really just like off the wall and you kind of just had to be like, I'm just going to guess. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just, it's for us, we always thinking from a production standpoint, I'm like, mm -hmm. is there really a true way to know who got the closest or who was the furthest away? We don't know. No. I mean, there's just no. <clears throat> we just guessing at this point. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, that... <sighs> It was it was a sad episode because I I did not expect it. You saw much. I was like, if I, we lose, Kasi, like, no. Samira, or Dom, this is yeah. <laughs> sector forty five will never know. <laughs> they, they would never know, please. <laughs> and I was on their head. Like the whole, I could not stand there. I didn't want to look at nobody from that sector. I was just like, all oh, y'all gotta go, all y'all. Like, I feel like if, if <clears throat> I feel like if I would have won, I would have been like, yeah, mm -hmm. we won. But I wouldn't. Right. Up and down, gyrating, hugging. They was doing the most. You know, <laughs> she said I was like, in a situation where it was like, like you were like acting like a sore winner. When right. You know, all of us have to go into this like completely blind. So right. I was like, we could a little use a little bit more grace in that win, mm -hmm. y'all. Hmm. <laughs> no, <bit>. absolutely. Um, <laughs> so was, let me ask you. So is there anything that? Um, production Netflix didn't show us that's a little messy was there a little extra drama between anybody behind the scenes we don't know about I feel like um I feel like they completely kind of missed the mark on me Will and Dom's um like those relationships basically yeah so we mm -hmm. were like really close so um that kind of got missed. And I, I'm going into it thinking, oh, they're going to at least show a little bit of it because yeah. they even had me, Will, and Dom taking production photos together, mm. like a three. Oh. oh wow. But because hmm. you've seen me for so long, mm. we're, we're just going to scrap the whole thing. Oh, that stinks, man. Yeah. yeah. I had that a little bit of a, um, I had a little bit of a moment with Avery. Um, I was really angry when I left and I'm going to be completely honest because yeah. she was the one that came down and basically was like putting on this show that um, they heard us push the button first and her whole mm -hmm. team was silent. So I'm like, so Avery was being a little loud is what mm -hmm. it sounded like. Oh, yeah, a little loud over there, girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And her team wasn't backing her up. So I was just so confused and like, that's not good gameplay. But no. and I actually walked out. I'm going to be completely honest. I actually walked out and I said, I hope Avery doesn't win. And that's why she lost. And I, told, <laughs> and I told, and I talked to her after when we finally got the chance to meet up. I was like, girl, she was like, oh no, I'm sorry. And I was like, please do not apologize because mm -hmm. I apologize. I said some really crazy stuff. Girl, I was <laughs> talking about you. Just so I you said, know. I was, I was going off. So, but Avery, Ooh, I wish we would have got that confessional. Avery, that would have been cool. Like fine person, and I was just like, Samara, you didn't have to be an asshole like that. Like, <laughs> it was real sweet. <laughs> I was just so mad that I went home. So. But hey, that's natural. Like in that yeah. moment, to you know, losing like that, like obviously with how the night had went, then you go in this competition, you got people talking mess for no reason, and you know, stirring up drama, and then you leave. On top of that, that's a lot. Like. You, yeah. Your feelings, emotions, they're valid because I would have been upset too, especially to leave so soon when you know that you have the potential to go so much further. Oh, yeah. for sure. I did not expect it to be cut this small, this early. And then to come down from the room of taking the quiz and then see all of them sitting there mm -hmm. just waiting to see who got eliminated. I was oh. like, oh. Just I looking just smug. Like, just like, just a backstab, like it just hurt me so bad. I was just like, oh, 
<laughs> so my question on while we're talking about this, why did y'all wait so long to to go for the safety? I think we just really wanted money in the pot. Mm -hmm. And I think it was just so early in the game that we're not really it's not really clicking yet that people are going to be selfish and want to grab right. and, and and do all these other things just to get further in the game. We're thinking, mm -hmm. oh, well, as long as the, the money in the pot at the end is big. Right. You know, cool. Then we're good. All right. Okay. So all as well. <laughs> a follow up that real quick before Teresa asks her next question. Did y'all not find it suspicious when Greg kept asking to talk to everybody in the room, but he was the only one on the phone? Oh, I was yelling at Jacob. I'm like, mm. Jacob, get off the phone. <laughs> what are you doing? They're playing us right now. Get off the phone. Stop answering it. Don't talk to them. Baby, that's what right. me yelling at the TV. I was like, what's going on, y'all? I was, I was like, y'all don't know what he is. And so when we saw Dom's confession, he was like, oh, he's using first person language. I, this, I'm mm -hmm. here. I'm, I'm like, okay, come mm -hmm. on. Let's come on, it. thinking. It's, You're it thinking. It's clicking. It's clicking. <laughs> um, I don't ever remember a time where we called them first. Hmm. So I'm like, yeah. He's calling us. They trying to see what y'all was doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hang up the phone. Stop talking. <laughs> so, I mean, I feel like things. Do you feel like things could have been differently had you guys immediately went after it when they did? Because it seemed like, again, this editing can be, you know, difficult to mm -hmm. measure. But I feel like you all got the answer kind of quicker than they mm -hmm. did. And I was like, well, maybe if they had a little bit more time or started a little bit earlier, they could have finished first. Mm -hmm. I truly believe that we would have hit the button first. Yeah. That's yeah, I would have hit that button so fast. I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> I'm telling so you, money. you don't realize how bad people want an exemption over money in the pot until then, and then until that's you get in that moment, yeah, 5k for a Woo. exemption. It's like it don't hey. matter how much money in the pot, as long as I make it to the end, that's all that matters. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hello. Because maybe I, I gotta get there first, and then we we'll <laughs> worry you. about the money in the pot, even if I leave with $25. <laughs> that's that's, my more, that's 25 <laughs> more dollars than I had when I got here. You hear me. <laughs> so um switching um lanes a little bit i see that um you were talking um on twitter that you were getting into big brother canada so i'm curious how your watch is going with that so at first i started on season five and then i was okay. like it's like an all-star season so yeah I, oh so you like let like, me bring it back yeah i was like let me go back because everybody was like no you have to watch ica you have to watch ica so I'm yes like, okay. oh that was a great so season like, the two and I'm actually two more episodes away from the finale. Oh, okay. Being, yeah, being on Twitter and Instagram and doing a lot of it'll get you going. Stuff on my phone, I get distracted. <laughs> to like, like rewind. But honestly, the BB Canada house is sick. Oh my god! Yes. Let, let me just say this: I, I, if I had to pick, okay, so out of this cast, we were talking about like this was just a, a great casting. Like, usually, um, I don't know how in-depth you are into Big Brother, but in the 24 seasons of Big Brother in the U.S., it's just like, there's always, like, something missing. And this cast of The Mole, I honestly would just place all of y'all and put y'all in a Big Brother house. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so, like, we, amongst our group chat, talked about, like, okay, if we had to pick three people out of The Mole to put into the Big Brother house, it would have been you. Yeah. Will, Dom, and I cheated and said four, so and then I put joy in there. <laughs> I'm always breaking the rules. Oh, I would so love to watch y'all on Big Brother. Like, I think y'all would be great. I think I would do really good on Big Brother. You heard that casting? I feel like the comps are pretty, um, not easy, but they seem like doable. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if you go out, is basically because you think you're not liked or you're a target, which I'm exactly fine. yeah. And I think you have a great social game, so I think you, I was yeah. You I was gonna say that. Jury. You would I skate, feel like you I would think. have your social game, which is not much of an impact in the mole as much. And so I feel like just your mm -hmm. personality mm -hmm. and like your you know you're always thinking you're gonna be. A, I feel like you would be a low key strategist, like just pulling the strings, but also a really great social player. Too. Maybe so. she would give us confessionals. You hear me? Them yeah. drs. <laughs> Look, they miss so many golden moments. I know. <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> That'd but be so honestly, great. going into the show, I was telling everybody, I, I was telling production, cast, I said, the main reason why I have gone on this show is because I really want to go on the challenge. 
Oh, I, I can see that. I love Big Brother, so it's about the same, but I already had it set of the challenge, but Big mm -hmm. Brother was great as well. Okay, you know what? It looks like you're trying to die, is what you're trying to do. <laughs> you know, they be on their mountains. I the challenge is too much for me, man. Look, you got I, look if you could do it, go and climb that mountain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see, I for me, I would if obviously um Big Brother is like a dream of mine too to be on Big Brother. I love Big Brother, mm -hmm. been watching it for years now. And then I was like, okay, you know, if the, I got the call to go to the challenge after my big brother run, I'm like, I would do it, but I'm looking at some of them challenges. I'm like, I don't know. I'm looking at the final, I'm like, maybe I would have went and collected my little check and they'd have been like, let's go over here and swim, trees. And I'm be like, and I'm gonna sit down, is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> when they told me to eat some, I'm be like, I'm gonna take a no on that. Yeah, so I would have been challenges. Enzo. They would have been like, girl, you need to go home. I told my mom, I was like, if I ever got the call, I'm gonna have to take swimming lessons. And my mom me was girl. like, if I fail you, <laughs> me too. Like, girl. You get like, on it. I'm telling you. It's just that growing up it was kind of like anytime i would like go outside or go to the beach or the yep. pool i would come back to school keep in yep. mind it was a small town it was majority white people but it was still diverse and mm -hmm. my friends would come back and be like oh my god samira you're so dark so for a while i on, pools and oceans mm. so i lost my ability to swim mm. and i was a grown-ass adult and I'm just like, yo, I can't I can't tread water for more than 30 seconds. I'm gonna have an asthma attack. See, girl, more than 10. I don't tread no water either. I'm with you. <laughs> Everybody's I like, can't oh, you, you can can just, none of that can't float. You can just right. float, just it's easy, just breathe. And, no, I can't it's not easy. Won't. I'm, like, no, no. I'm, I'm about to drown. <laughs> Same. Oh my goodness. So mm -hmm. that's dope though. Let you would do the challenge. Y'all hear her call her up. Oh yeah. I would love to watch that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause I haven't watched it since Davon. I don't know if you know Davon Rogers. Um, I but... seen her, I didn't see her Big Brother season, mm -hmm. but I saw her on X on the Beach. And oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Big Brother. So I think I'm gonna go back and watch her. Season. You need to. Yes. Yes, and she killed her. it on the challenge. I, she. That's my best she friend. Did. Literally, I love Davon. Um, mm -hmm. She got me reinterested in Big Brother because um, it was just like the same season. You know, seeing the same thing. None of us never winning or getting close to the end and her calling it out and just being an authentic black woman and just being herself. It was like, Oh, like we can do this. So just don't give up. And so seeing her move to the challenge and thrive because the big brother house is hell. Ooh, like, Lord, she it's thrived a lot. on the I challenge. And I was like, yeah. Like, it was a lot. It was a lot. Like, some of the, um, the black cast members being like really isolated and like, mm. I'm like, Oh my God, this is so ugly. But it was like those moments were like the older. Version. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. a little bit more hidden. It was crazy then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So thankfully, we have this new, you know, the whole. 50% casting for diversity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I I would hope the hope would be that if you were ever to go and be brother, you wouldn't have that problem. Mm -hmm. As we can see that it don't matter if you have the 50%, if you don't with the diverse people that you cast are anti-black or have some internalized, you know, racism against mm -hmm. you know, their ethnicity, mm -hmm. then it's still going to be a problem. It's going to be a struggle. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> so, man. So without outside of reality television, like, so after you wrapped up, how did you feel like your life changed after like you wrapped up airing and like you went back home? Um, how was it? How was the transition? Honestly, it kind of felt like like nothing ever happened. Mm. Mm. Uh, so I just when I as soon as I got home, I was like, well, let me just really be consistent with my modeling because mm -hmm. if I get some type of deal off of modeling, one hundred percent, I was like, let me get my portfolio up and really That's smart. Make my profile looks good when the show airs, which yep. mm -hmm. it gave me a lot of time. It gave me a year. <laughs> this was filmed a year ago? We filmed from, we left June 1st. Mm -hmm. And then we finished, I want to say like August 10th. Mm. Um, Did they make y'all stay in Australia even if you got eliminated that whole time? Mm -hmm. oh, and we well, at least you got a little out. vacation. Mm. We weren't supposed to hang out or talk to Oh, each other really? We got eliminated. Oh, yeah, I broke that rule, didn't you? Allegedly. Um, <laughs> so, so, I tried my best. I was alone for four weeks. I got oh, my God. Bye. Oh, that's so, all. Oh, my God. I was alone for four weeks until I noticed. 
some other rules being broken. And I was like, mm-hmm. well, if y'all know we are doing some, <laughs> what's up? Yeah. Right. So, I mean, Australia is amazing. I got to go to Australia's uh, zoo that's um, from Steve Irwin's family. Mm. That was a lot of fun. I did a lot of activities with other castmates. We really wanted to do skydiving. Oh, mm-hmm. Lord. But. Yeah, you need to go on a challenge. That last day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! So that's for great. all the ones that got eliminated early, they, we kind of just made the best out of it. Um, yeah, that's a lot good. Of, they were definitely living their best lives. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay, dude. Okay, nice, nice. So it was a pay vacation essentially after being eliminated. Yep. I, I have a question. Indeed. That's probably uh, none of our business, but I want to know if y'all know. Um, how much do you, I mean, do y'all know how much the mole got paid to be the mole? I have no idea. And I'm, I'm so I'm curious sure about that. I'm pretty sure it's in their contract that they can't they disclose the amount. I even tried to ask her. <laughs> oh, that means she got a nice little check. Oh I mean, come on, come on, man. <laughs> but, because if you want nothing, I'd be like, girl, they gave me some pennies, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been me <laughs> lying. like, in my mind, because I still, I would love to know. I'm Me like, too. Do they get more or do they get less than the winner? Because technically, when they sign up to be the mole, they're automatically already like agreeing to being on yep. the show and to not yep. get the full amount. Yeah. Yep. So I'm like, hmm. my mom. I wonder. Hey, how much did they get? I'm like, I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, that is like my burning question. Like, I want to know how much money did she get paid? Like, I wonder if it's contingent on the fact that, okay, if you get rid of this amount of money, then you can get this amount of money. If you get, you know, do this, you get this amount. So I'm curious. Hmm. I can't wait to ask her. So I think she cannot tell me. Try to ask her, she's not gonna <laughs> oh, she ain't going to tell me, but I'm going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Tree's going to ask anyway, because that's what she does. Um, She's she going to do that anyway, because that's how I'm she gonna is. I'm going to say, look, let me give you a number. You just tell me north or south. <laughs> <laughs> And, and we'll go from there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hmm. I'm telling you. So overall, how would you say your experience was with the show and how everything was handled? Um, my experience, even though it was really short lived, I I think it was amazing. I met amazing people. Every single one of them are just the most genuine people I've ever met in my life, and. It's nice to go into this environment where you wouldn't naturally just gravitate towards these people in real life. So to create these bonds with everybody has just been amazing. And the cast, I mean, the crew, by far, amazing. The crew Shout out to the crew. 10 times better for every single one of us. Um, That's dope. I would say COVID kind of messed us up a mm. little bit in, mm. in terms of pro- production and being able to, like, hang out and stuff like that but um overall it, w- it was just amazing good we love great. to hear it we love to hear people getting on these shows and having great experiences because we know it's not always the case and so specifically for black women on these mm-hmm. shows and so yes for sure so you hear you had an, a really positive experience from beginning middle and end for the most part like that that makes us happy to see especially okay. for a reboot of a show that's gaining popularity yeah, I was really close with um, Pranav and Sandy when we mm. Mm. So we have, I, I'm still trying to post all of our content. I've hung out with um, Kasi's come to Atlanta, Osei's come to Atlanta. Okay. So, I mean, I got to get out there to Vegas. It's far, it's far away. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I got to get and out there. And them flights ain't cheap, you hear me? Huh? And, the and flights ain't them cheap. flights not cheap either. They are not. Mm-mm. Or not, but um, I definitely I'm trying to get a um vacation set up for all of us. Oh, that'd be all dope. Are interested in going because everybody like feels like they missed out on this finale reunion. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I feel like I missed out on it too. Yeah, yeah. We need it. I feel like the finale was like this long. Right. I was like, huh. We were filming till four a.m. Really? So it's all that content out there, and we just missed it. Wow. It felt the, that was the thing for me. Like I felt like the show was 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 great, but the finale for me felt so rushed. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Huh, y'all left that a lot." What's Very going on? Yeah, yeah. I think they had like this set contract of how many episodes mm-hmm. they had and the the time. So yeah, and, so we can only get so I much. Where you guys are coming from because I'm like I didn't sat there for so long. 
<laughs> for this this Not huge easy. reveal. So get those answers and stuff. So I feel you. I mean, hopefully they do come out with something, but. Yeah, hopefully if not, and y'all want somebody to host it, we'll host a mole round table with all the cast members Look, that want to listen. Y'all have a platform here, so whenever y'all ready, we ready. Always listen, you're fam now, so just know that sure. anytime you need look, because I know you got an event coming up with Davey. Mm -hmm. Um, that's I told you that's my boy. Um, so anytime you need help with like you know, posting anything or just like shouting you all out. Let us know. We in your corner. Like, you, once you're a part of this exclusive group chat, you're locked in. Girl, once you win it, you win it. <laughs> Y'all are amazing. I really appreciate it, especially because, you know, knowing that I went was the second person out, I just kind of was like, oh, nobody's going to want to talk to me. Mm -hmm. I guess it'll, look, it'll, I'll be there and then I'll be gone. So, look, let I'm me keep it real with you. Guys. That's usually the case. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when you see a personality on the screen, and the fact that we know seeing you on the screen, like this is not gonna be the last time we see you. So we had to get to you first. <laughs> I was just and, like, oh no, we gonna see her. We, and we it's funny that you mentioned that because you were the second out and how I mentioned Davon and her original season, she was also a second boot. Hmm. And they brought her back the very next season. That's never Maybe been they done bought her back three, four, five, And then they brought her back for All Stars. And so don't ever limit yourself like don't ever doubt sure. yourself um you know what you bring to the table you are a star and so live in that and believe in it because she did it and she she's where she is today and i really hope you get to meet her because she is phenomenal so being a second boot that means nothing it is not defined where you can go in your dreams and when it comes to tv or whatever so Oh, I love that. Y'all are so sweet. Listen, <laughs> this is we're family and we have to keep each other encouraged. We do. We it do. is. Because ain't nobody else going to do it. So we got to do it ourselves, you know? That's exactly. true. That's mm -hmm. true. So as we're wrapping up and closing, could you tell us about any life plans that you have going on right now or that you're looking forward to? So right now, I just got a few sample logos back for my business. So I want to do... Workout clothes, lingerie, and swimwear for women. Okay. It's kind of on brand with, with me. Like, mm -hmm. I do um, I do take a lot of photos in bikinis, lingerie, and... Come on now. So I'm like, kind of <laughs> is perfect for me to start this. Um, I haven't decided yet if I want to settle into my therapy job or not yet until... I kind of want to see what opportunities come through. Absolutely. So... There's that. And I, I'm just going to work on content, modeling, doing everything I can to just get my face out there, keep mm -hmm. it going. Yes, for sure. If it doesn't work out, I'm just going to go work. <laughs> Girl, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work gonna out. Work. I'm telling you. It is. Absolutely. So tell everybody where they can find you on socials, your business name, if you're ready to put that out there so we can make sure you're plugged in and they are plugged into you. All right. So you guys can find me on Instagram at Samara Joy or Wise. Um, it's usually universal for all my socials. So also Twitter is Samara Joy with four Y's. I don't use my Facebook, so let's go <laughs> mm -hmm. um, And my Snapchat is Mare Bear. Okay. Oh, that's where old, I put that. So I'm like, you know, back when. Get back in the day. Okay. I just changed mine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I decided to name my business Mix Collection. And why? So... I'm okay. about to order some sample clothing and everything and just get it started. So nice, nice. I can't wait to see it. I can't wear none of it, but I'll repost it. <laughs> listen, listen. I ain't gonna be unless nobody. you want to come out with a line with some swim trunks and whatnot. Hey, hey, it's coming. Look, I definitely plan on doing matching men's and women's swimwear, you know, for Ooh, yes. But you know, <laughs> I ain't gonna get nobody pool, but I'm gonna definitely sit by the pool in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Listen, come on, come on. Poolside <laughs> pigs, beach side pigs. All of it. I know that's right. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you took out the time to come and see us. Um, you know, you are welcome back anytime. If you want to just come on the show and be like, hey y'all, the business is popping. I need to come promote. We got your back. Or if you just want to come chill and um, we're starting Big Brother Canada, the new season um, in March. So if you want to come back once you get into that, because I know you're going to end up getting into that. Um, yep. We come back and chat, but you're part of the fam now. So you're welcome back anytime. Oh, thank you, guys. Of course. Thank of you course. So much. And thank you, listeners and viewers, for joining us for another episode with the amazing Samira Joy. Um, and we are so happy to have you a part of our exclusive group chat. See y'all later. Bye, guys.
Bye. <laughs>